Hey guys, my name is Bryce. Today I'm doing a video on a kind of card shipment, I guess you could say, from what I got uh, while in Canada, because over in Denmark it's quite expensive to get specific cards ordered online and shipped over to Denmark because we don't have um, any kind of Amazon. As far as I know, there's no sort of TCG player equivalent or anything like that. So, uh, my friends and I wanted to get some cards, so we all just kind of pulled it together and actually got it from a store in Toronto shipped over to my place. Um, so when I went home for the holidays, uh, I got these available. So all of these were kind of out of, you know, what was accessible in trade binders and all that stuff uh, for playing kind of specific combos that we had in mind. So I'll just kind of hold them up briefly for each one. Um, some of it's kind of like more for my Karakuri deck. This is for my friend who wants to start doing the Raccoon deck, which I've actually built since. Um, also, I got some support for spell counters because Extreme Force is right at around the corner as I'm filming this, so that seemed appropriate. And uh, yeah, otherwise I'm looking at a little bit more synchro support, things like that. Um, some of these have gone straight into the deck, some have still unfortunately had to tech out again, just not, you know, due to not having space. But like Arcanite Magician is definitely going to go dungy up in price. Um, also, just want to use it for spell counters. Cloud Castle is just like an extra synchro that I didn't have a rank 9 win for. And Black Wings for more synchro stuff. Um, and also, uh, Magical Exemplar. Uh, I just had two, so now I have a full set. And now I'm also going into Magic Cards because that's something I've started playing with as well. These are not in, um, not in standard right now, but they're ones that I will play just casually with my friend otherwise because um, I really love having a green deck and so these kind of fit into this. So I'm just kind of pure green deck builds actually because otherwise it's hard to get death touch without a swamp. Um, and then there's a whole bunch of dinosaurs for my friend. Um, they also play kind of a water build too. So this one is my choice which is a bit of a gamble but I like kind of doing magic turbo decks if that makes sense. Water for my friend. And some more dinosaurs. There's actually quite a lot of good dinosaur cards in this, this set and stuff, but um, I'm just not a fan of having to use planes, or you know, in this case, has to use uh, planes and for it. And then finally, I got Drunk's Shams True just because it's adorable. Um, and then also, I got some um, slightly older support as well for my green deck. This one's got really weird art, but the effect is pretty useful, just for more searching and stuff. So I wanted to bring out as many lands as quickly as possible. Uh, this card reminds me of a Yu-Gi-Oh card called Wapaku, but basically just stops all combat damage for that turn, which is great. It's great if I'm really getting slammed. And speaking of slammed, this is for hitting really big monsters by gaining death touch. Pretty effective beatdown powers. So those are the card collections. Thanks for watching.